What is negative SEO? Negative SEO is effectively the opposite of positive SEO. Instead of attempting to improve a site search ranking, the aim of negative SEO is to demote a competing site or even in some cases have it completely removed from the search results. There's tons of different negative SEO techniques people use, such as sending thousands of spam links, sending fake link removal requests, fake reviews, and so on and so on. However, regardless of the technique, I always get asked the same question, which is, is negative SEO effective? Good question and a subject of much debate. It's clear you can harm your own site by using shady SEO tactics. So it stands to reason that by employing the same techniques, you could also do similar damage to a competing website. After all, how can Google tell who built all those spammy links? The answer is yes, negative SEO does work if the attack is sophisticated enough. However, the good news is that 99% of negative SEO attacks are far from sophisticated and all have a happy ending. Generally speaking, rankings and traffic can be recovered to pre-attack levels as well. So how to spot a negative SEO attack? Keyword being successful. What we're looking for here are signs that someone has already succeeded in negatively affecting your rankings. The first thing to look out for is a drop in traffic. If the aim of negative SEO is to reduce your search traffic, then clearly for an attack to be considered successful, it has to do just that. So if you notice a sudden drop in your search traffic, then assuming you haven't been up to anything dodgy yourself, it could be a sign of a negative SEO attack. Number two, a manual penalty notification. There are two types of Google penalties one being manual and one being algorithmic. You'll generally only be able to spot the latter by noticing a drop in traffic and rankings. But if the penalty is manual, you'll get a lovely little message from Google telling you that they've taken action against your site. Again, if you've been following best SEO practices, such as what I'm teaching in this course, then the penalty may have been triggered by a negative SEO attack. If you do get notified, then you will get notified in your Google Search Console, which if you don't know what that is, then don't worry, as I have a video later on in this course showing you exactly how to set one up. The third thing to look out for is a drop in individual keyword rankings. So if your search traffic is down, then the chances are your rankings are down too. Checking your rankings is another way to potentially spot a negative SEO attack. I'll show you later on in the course exactly how you can track all your keyword positions. However, it's important to note that just because you have a drop in your rankings, it doesn't necessarily mean that you had a negative SEO attack. In the next video, I'll show you the most common types of a negative SEO attacks and exactly how you can deal with them. I'll see you there.